Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we'll be looking at the Cyberpunk Red Law Enforcers set manufactured by Monster Fight Club. Now, when you get your box in the mail, it's going to come like this. When they mail it to you, at least, there's no fancy packaging. So you'll get a bag with your product and then read this first. So your assembly instructions of how to work with this type of plastic. All right, let's get these models together. All right, so we assembled these guys, and not too bad. Almost no mold lines on these individuals. So let's talk about why I bought these models. So Cyberpunk Red, um, these were made for a Cyberpunk RPG. However, I am a fan of Reality's Edge. So when I saw these models, they just were spot on for the artwork found in this game book. So I bought them, tried them out. Very happy that I did. 30 bucks, six bucks a model, very good price, especially for the level of detail captured in just the equipment and the uniforms and these will obviously be not my team members but corporate security law enforcement who tend to jump out and interfere with them now when we look at these models we'll start with this one and obviously the breacher because he leads the way and see uh, this is actually a bit of a pain trying to line his head up to look through the vision port of his uh, riot shield but he's got the gas mask on, the armored shield, the sidearm. So very well done. Now you also get three um, regular enforcers with light weapons. And see one signaling. This one's shooting with his left one, his left hand, so he's incorrect. But we'll let that go. Now the helmets are similar, but not identical. So it does give a little bit of a, a variance there, which will fit into the overall scheme. People to get equipment at different times. So happy with these models. Now, this guy, you can tell, is you know, the patrol sergeant. He's leading them. One thing I don't like is he's got a, his garrison cover there. And I understand it's kind of like Warhammer. The boss takes off his helmet so everyone else on the table can see who's the boss. You know, he might be standing back, but still wish they found some other way to indicate he was uh, in charge instead of using the uh, soft cap there. But appropriately identified at all times so everyone knows. But very good models. But as I said, these were made for an RPG, and they're not 28 millimeter. Which when I started getting into Reality's Edge, I was setting my games for 28 millimeter. Because I wasn't really happy with a lot of the Cyberpunk models. I started building with Anvil Industries 28 millimeter. And what you see is that these guys. So the cyberpunk red models are head and shoulders over the anvil industry models. So 20 millimeters, you know, if we put them on a table and they were far away from each other, the bases are close enough in size, we could probably get away with it, but up next to each other, you know, it's a little Lilliputian fight going on there, which made me think of what about throwing these guys into games of Fallout, that would probably work pretty well. There's only a slight variance to that. You know, this guy's a little bit more bulkier than the Fallout figure, but he's probably better fed and then better armored. Now, where these models really fit in is with Batman miniatures, 35 millimeter. So this would actually fit in really well with some of the SWAT characters from Batman miniatures. 
And especially if I wanted to start playing games of Cyberpunk Batman. This would uh, do quite nicely. And just for fun, we'll throw in MCP's 40mm range. And you can just see Captain America's head and shoulders over this guy. Which he should be. But regardless, these guys, these guys seem quite small compared to the MCP models. Alright, so there's the law enforcement set from Leinster Fight Club for your ga cyberpunk games. Very happy with the purchase. And if you have a chance, they make great uh, NPCs on the board. So, thanks for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.